address him and walk through that. And so do not, do not start feeling down on yourself if you still feel comfortable about prayer. Because here's the thing. The thing, thing about prayer is the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get. Especially praying out loud. A lot of times we hear like the people that are, can I just pray in my head? I'm like, that's okay. We can do that. You know, it would be weird if we really took that first Thessalonians verse where it said pray continually. And we were literally a person walking down the hallway just talking to ourselves the whole time. That would be kind of weird. You know? So it's okay. God's like, all right, we can have this conversation. But it's really good to practice out loud with your brothers and your sisters here and, and, and to work through it. You'll get more comfortable as you go when you do it. So what I shared there is like, don't give lip service. Don't just throw up formulaic prayers. You know, don't just throw up things thinking that if I pray this way, if I say this thing, then God will do this. You know, I love the, the, the verse of scripture where it talks about the, the persistent widow that comes to the door knocking. Real late at night. Come to the door. And it wasn't because of the friendship that that, that person had with that person at 2 in the morning when the knock on the door came. It was the persistence of that person coming to the door knocking. Saying, it's not because I like you, it's not because I'm your friend, it's because of your persistence that I'm going to give you what you need. They're asking for food. So, a lot of times, in, if you want to see God do something in your life, you want to see God do something amazing in your friend's life, you want to see some of your friends come to know Jesus, how often are you knocking on the door? Are you being a person that just comes to the door, knocks once, and then just forgets about it, walks away? You're missing out on the power that God has when we just keep coming. We keep knocking on the door and say, God, I want to see my friend so-and-so come to know you. I want to see my friend so-and-so come to know you. And knowing that he's like, it's not because of my relationship, but because of your persistence, because you kept coming, that I'm going to answer. All right? And so I want to I wanna, um, ask a couple questions, and you guys are going to dive into your small groups and make sure you tackle um, your time uh, for, can you take over in a couple weeks? But...